Hey folks, this is Riker. Dead by Daylight is a game I've been playing on and off since beta a couple months ago. If you come by my streams, you might have seen me play it now and then on a Friday night. For those who don't know, it's an asymmetric survival horror game. It's PvP and co-op, with four survivors versus one killer. Now, we are currently in the midst of a free weekend for Dead by Daylight, so do go check it out on Steam if you find this kind of game is for you. The game is basically the embodiment of every slasher flick ever. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, you know the deal. The survivors have to work together to start generators to escape from the killer, who they have no real way of fighting back against. The killer has to, well, obviously kill them. There's a few different killers to choose from, each with unique appearances and powers. And a new free DLC patch just released called The Last Breath, which adds a new killer, The Nurse, which looks a lot like one of those creepy-ass Silent Hill nurses, in case the game wasn't scary enough already. And it also adds a new survivor and a new map. This game has a few maps to play on, but they are all procedurally generated. So every map has certain fixed set pieces and decor, but the layout will always be different. There's also some light RPG elements, whereby you basically gain XP and level up in a skill tree. This enables you to unlock perks and items that will help you out, and over time can be really significant. In this video, we'll talk about the new content that has just come to Dead by Daylight, give a few tips, and then just show some gameplay highlights from our stream of the pants shitting fun that could be had in this game. So the first big piece of new content we'll talk about is the Asylum. This is the new map. Contrary to most of the other maps, this one is mostly indoors, or at least has a very significant indoor area. You'll tend to have two to three generators spawn inside there, and the area outside the Asylum is a lot more open than on the other maps. There's lots of places to hide inside the Asylum, there's multiple levels, there's gaps in the floor or ceiling to drop from one level to the other, tons of lockers to hide in, and really, you're going to be most vulnerable outside the Asylum, particularly if you're fighting against the Nurse. And that's because she can just stay on the upper level of the Asylum, scout you out, and then teleport to you. Yep, the Nurse has a teleport power, so let's talk about her a bit. Right now, a lot of people are thinking that the Nurse is overpowered, but it may just be that she's very new to the meta, and people haven't learned how to properly fight against her yet. The nurse's strength comes in the form of her blink ability. By holding down right mouse button, the nurse can charge up a teleport power. Release quickly and she'll teleport forward a short distance, but at max charge, she can go pretty damn far. I'd estimate roughly 25 to maybe 33% of the way across a map. The nurse can also blink up to three times in rapid succession. It's tricky to learn how to use blinking properly, because you have to do your next blink within a short window of time after your current blink. And there are perks that might even shorten that distance, in exchange for an advantage like allowing you to blink further. However, once the nurse stops her blinks, she basically suffers a stun effect. She has to look down at the ground and moves very slowly for a short period. So blink is something that you either nail and you down someone, or it just screws you up. It's something pretty skill-based and requires a lot of practice to get right. Right after you blink, you have enough time to take a swing with your weapon and strike a survivor. But if you mistime things or misjudge the distance on your teleport, then you're gonna get stunned and the survivor will get away. Note that the nurse's blink can take you through obstacles, including walls. So if you see someone hiding in a building, it doesn't matter if there's a pallet or a windowsill in your way or even just a solid wall. You can port straight through all of that. If you're against a nurse, never run in straight lines. If you're a nurse and you see someone running in a straight line away from you, you know you have an easy kill. Just teleport straight to them and knock them down. Another trick people have started to discover is if they see the nurse charging up her teleport, that's when she raises her hand into the air, to spin around and run towards her. This will often let her overshoot the teleport and you can get away scot-free. The main reason people think the nurse is so OP is because you have to fight against her in a way that is completely different from all the other killers. Advice that generally applies to fighting the other killers doesn't work too well versus the nurse, and vice versa. Now, the nurse's teleport can be a bit finicky, particularly when dealing with elevation. You really need to get a feel for how far you're going to travel based on how long you charge your teleport. And you can sometimes find yourself accidentally teleporting to a different elevation level than you intended, such as a basement or a second floor. Lastly, we'll talk briefly about the new survivor, Nia. In this game, as survivors level up, they gain access to different perks. Now, every survivor has three perks that are unique to that survivor. And Nia's three perks are a bit of a mixed bag. Her first perk, Balanced Landing, that basically just shortens that 
stun or slow duration when you fall from a higher level. And that's not something that happens a whole lot, so it seems a pretty weak perk to take. Her second perk, Urban Evasion, is a bit more useful, especially to new players. Basically, it lets her move a little bit faster while crouching. In higher levels of play, this probably won't be very useful, but it's a decent perk for those learning the game. Nia's final perk, Streetwise, basically lets you get more use out of your items, and while not amazing, it's probably the best of her perks. That said, there's a new perk added to the game that anyone can get. This perk is called Kindred. Kindred could be a really good perk. At level 1, while you're on the hook, one other random survivor's aura is revealed to all the other survivors. At perk level 2, all survivor's auras are revealed to all the other survivors, again while you're on a hook. And at perk level 3, in addition to that, if the killer is within an 8 meter radius of the hook, his aura is also revealed to all players. 8 meters is not far at all, but this is altogether a very powerful, cooperative perk, because it allows the survivors to more strategically allocate resources. For instance, if I see the aura of two survivors near the hook, and I see that the killer is near the hook, then I know that I can safely work on a generator, while the other two survivors are working on freeing our buddy. That wraps up the guide part of this video, the rest will just be some stream highlights. We want to it's so quiet. <laughs> I'm scared. Sometimes my hands shake. <sighs> Are you guys even? Alive? I know he's he's got to be doing it, Jenny. Like you guys only need one. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, please. Nah, I, I can't play as a, this guy. Oh, yeah, I don't like him either. It, it, he, he's good in the right hands, but... Fanboy, why you say that? He's good in the right hands, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not the right hands. I'm more <laughs> yeah. of like the thinker that puts down Oh, hell no! Oh, Jesus! No! Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> no! I ain't gonna miss. Yeah. 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 Yeah, boy. Yeah. yeah. Don't run. He's gonna know where you are. He's gonna flawless this shit. Watch. That's not the button. If you are. Oh, you're. No, fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Escape. Perfect. Oh, no. 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 I tried to be a hero. Niant, oh. no. no. Niantic actually signed off on that. They're supporting the the uh, APK file. Why are you guys silent? Cause you walked right by. I don't me. know which which. And I was hitting my pants. Which is I found the trap door, so. Oh, nice. Can you get out through the trap door? Oh. No! God damn when it! Fuck my life! Left, I'm fucked. I am left. fucked. Run! Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? Oh, Run. come on! What is that? That's some bullshit. Oh, great. Where am I running? <laughs> Never played. <laughs> Run away! You never played against uh, the invincible dude. I have, Run! but it, no, no, oh, fuck! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Find the hatch. It was over where he knocked me down. It's over where he knocked you yeah. down. Yeah. Where? Yeah, I, Am I close? I I saw it. Oh! You remember that generator we were both working on? No! What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? Oh jeez! You still go into oh. it. Oh! No! There we go! <laughs> Run, whoever that is, run. Run, run! Oh, oh I see God. a person. I see you. I see Stay trees away. of green. Red roses, too. I see them bloom. For me and you. Uh -huh. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Are you kidding world. me? <laughs> what a wonderful world. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Run! This went bad. The colors of the rainbow really so bad. pretty in the sky. Oh, God.
Okay, I, I panicked. I heard the patter. I thought it was close. I panicked. I'm hearing it again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Why does it have to be the baby? What? God, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn it. Did, did that work? Did 